From Fort Detrick, I went by train to Anniston, Alabama, where Fort McClellan, home of the Chemical Corps Training Command and school, is located. I sat in on a few classes. I noticed, along with Chemical Corps personnel at the school, are representatives of the other services. There are representatives of public health, civilian defense, and other agencies. Officers of the military forces of friendly foreign nations are also present. A heavy emphasis is placed on radiological warfare, along with learning how to deal with the atom in peacetime. A steady program of laboratory exercises teaches chemical course students the fundamental procedures involved in the handling of radioactive materials. Calibration exercises train the students in the maintenance of the radiation detection devices they will use in the event of a nuclear emergency. At Fort McClellan, the techniques of survey and monitoring are taught to selected non-commissioned officers. They will return to their units as instructors in these same subjects. by the Chemical Corps during bomb tests in Nevada and the Pacific. Practice gives the students the background to cope intelligently with any nuclear emergency that may arise in the future. Students also have the opportunity of monitoring radioactive fallout by ground and air means. 